In this video, we'll be going over ways to display data in DTM. The three ways we'll be looking at in this video are the model of one specific device or points list of one specific device, a more high level view of data points, and a insight display, which can be similar to an HMI. So let's start with 61850. So you want to navigate in the workspace to the device you'd like to see. I'll currently be using this channel. You right click, show model. Now what you'll have here is a fully collapsed model of this 61850 device. You can open it up by clicking the arrows and this will help you navigate to where you want to go. If there are specific areas that you like to look at and you'll be using frequently, you can create bookmarks. We've already preset a few for you. This will jump you directly to where you want to be. If there is a different area that we do not have by default, you can create your own by navigating to the place you'd like, right click, add bookmark. Now in the future, if you go to bookmarks, you can scroll down to user defined and click your specific bookmark and it will take you directly to it. Very similar to 61850, you can go to another device, like a 101 device, go to its channel, right click, show points list. In this area, you can see the full points that are laid out inside of this device. You can scroll through and look for the devices that you're looking, the points that you're looking for. You can filter by clicking the little filter symbol here to filter on a very specific type of data you're looking for, or you can grab any of these headers here and group by that specific type. This will put them all into groups and you can open them up by clicking the arrow. The second way I wanted to look at data today would be on a, a higher level. This would allow you to group multiple devices into one display. For this video, I'm going to just go ahead and do it from the top level node, although it will warn you that if you're doing, if you have too many points, or you have too many devices, this could take a while to display it all. So in a similar vein, you do right click, show, data points. This confirmation window will pop up here and basically say, hey, if you have hundreds of devices, this could take a while. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. So now we're going to have something very similar to the points list we just looked at, but we're going to have of each of the devices in our workspace. To show this, I'm going to go ahead and group it by device. Now that we've grouped it, it's a little bit easier to see. You can then go inside any of the points, the devices that you like, and see their points, and continue to group from there or filter. The last thing I was going to show you on how to show points in this is to create something more like an insight display or something like an HMI. To do this, you go to the workspace where you'd like to place it, right click, insight, add display. You'll need to name the display. I will name this one video. After that happens, a completely blank canvas will pop up. For reasons you'll see in the future, I'm actually just going to put this right alongside what we were just looking at. So what you can do from here is you can actually drag and drop points from this point list I was talking about onto this display and it will show the values. So if I come in here and change this to true, you'll see it change over here. That way you don't have to monitor points all throughout different devices and keep an eye on them. You can just drag them straight over. Alternatively, if you're looking for something more along the lines of an indicator or a analog view, you can come over here and do a drop down on our user palette. In this situation, I'm going to get the indicators and I will drag over an LED. This will make it so if I drag the value directly onto this LED, it'll light up because it's true. If I set that value to false, it then will go false. You do not need to have this anymore in the workspace if you do not want to. 